Okay. Hey, you guys. Welcome to this timeless. We're going to make it timeless, right, you guys? Yes. This timeless twin flame check-in. I've gotten the call. <laughs> it's time. It's time. So we're going to get the perspective of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Take which resonates. Doesn't have to be male, female. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't really want to say a lot. I just want to kind of go into it. Okay. So like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, join me here on TikTok for those of you that are watching back on YouTube. For those of you on TikTok, welcome. We're screen recording subscribe over on YouTube. We're all friends. We're besties. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's go into it. I just want to go into it. Um, you know what I want to do? I want to pull the actual, the, the middle energy. Why am I sensing it? Before I even look at anyone else, I want to know why I'm picking it up so heavy. Like, why is it in the energy so heavy? Let's use this deck here. It's on the feminine side, Spirit is saying, okay. Someone's not feeling safe, stable. The lovers in the reverse. Somebody could be going through a separation in a karmic relationship. Yes, there could be an exit of that. Someone could be freshly single. Mm -hmm. Or someone's having an awakening here. Okay, and hey, Amanda, it's been a minute, girl. Hi, hi, hi. Um, somebody could be having an awakening that, like, they have not been living their truth. Gemini energy here. I've been stunted. Yeah, like flat tire energy. Some of you might be feeling extremely depleted. Justice. It's time to make things right. We need to balance this out. Okay, so that's the, the median energy, if you will. Okay. Let's get the perspective of the divine masculine. I just wanted to peek at that. This way isn't working for me anymore. I know I have been getting on super late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, what's going on for the masculine energy, please, in this connection here? Oh. Why am I getting so many references on, like, wishing upon a star? You know? The moon in the reverse, the two of wands. Cancer Pisces energy. What's beneath the surface? What really matters? The truth. So the masculine has a truth. Oh shit. The masculine's in love. It's fine. Do you see all this? Sleep is overrated. Sir Jason. <laughs> but it's not it, okay? As I am. As I'm holding the card of truth, you gotta love that, right? The masculine is having a new perspective on what really matters. Can we clarify that? Can we clarify that? This divine masculine. Show me the moon in the reverse. Six of cups in the reverse. The strength card. Leo energy. And the empress. Life is nothing without you, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from the masculine. Feed my Delulu. I don't care. Like, whatever. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Now, listen, there is an unpleasant me uh, memory here, right? Six of Cups. My nose is itching, so it's like discernment. The masculine might feel like they made the wrong choice. Okay? They didn't use their judgment properly, or maybe they were judged proper uh, improperly. Mm-hmm. That six of cups in the reverse. There's regret here. Of what's keeping the masculine from their feminine. It's rawness. It's emotion. So yeah, this could be the masculine realizing I can't live on the surface. Not if I want this. 
not if I want this. Yeah, I'm hearing my sun. So you might like my moon, my sun type of a vibe here. I'm getting that. Ooh, maybe we should do a reading like the moon and the sun, you know? Yeah. One day, not today. Let's keep going. Let's get the perspective of the feminine. This is also very similar to the spread I do, the masculine and feminine spread, actually, within, right? Like I said, we all have these energies. So especially, you guys, especially if you're dealing in a twin flame dynamic, this is a mirror of your energy, okay? <laughs> so yeah, pay attention. They're showing you something that's within you. Can you receive love? The masculine could have a feminine wound, I'm just saying. A mother wound, okay? What's going on for the feminine? Perspective of the feminine, please, in this dynamic. The world in the reverse, it ain't over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not over. The world in the reverse. The six of swords. I've been running. Five of Cups, Page of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, the feminine's been very upset, very emotional. It's giving I've been in my depth. Hmm. It's interesting, right? Because I called it the sun, but this actually is the moon. And I wonder if the masculine almost was like, you're my sun. And the feminine's like, I'm actually the moon. There's like something about like darkness or what's hidden. You know what I'm saying? I'm luminous in a different way. It's a different type of light. Mm -hmm. It's not over, not even a little bit. With the magician on the bottom, don't talk to me. Don't you fib. You're gonna lie to your Scorpio tarot reader. Get out of town. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what would be the point of me being here if I didn't, Amanda? Mm -mm. I want to just pull on this world in the reverse. Again, my nose, I'm telling you, it's like, it feels like someone's tickling my nose. Okay. <laughs> like feathers. Didn't I channel that? Hey guys. I still want this. That's it. That's all. I still want it. The feminist said, I still want it. That's what it is. <laughs> I kind of like it. There's ownership there. Claim it then. <laughs> oh, geez. Let's keep going. It's going to be fine. <laughs> We're going to get through this. It's going to be great. Okay, so. Hold on, Babs Cardini, do you think I have time? Not even a little, okay. <laughs> I'll explain later. <laughs> Subscribe, you too can also have a spider right with a heel before your name. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see here. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. The Six of Cups in the reverse. Okay, masculine, sorry. Sorry for those that are going to identify with the masculine, but we're going to do some, like, exposure therapy or something right now. <gasps> that, oh, yeah, pay attention, Lindsay. I'd say that for sure. It let me customize, like, the emojis I use for, like, month one subscriber, month two. So, like, they'll all be different. Depends what month you're on. And then instead of it saying star, it says heal. But I actually want to change it to SRBE, single rich bitch energy. You can be taken and still have SRBE. <laughs> so if you want to be an SRBE, manifest it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Masculine's ready to be real. Can I tell you something? I know exactly what this is. Oh, I know exactly what this is. I know what this is. I know what's happening. I know what's happening. Good news. <laughs> Good news. I know what's happening. The masculine needs to work through his trauma. 
<laughs> Can you allow the feminine to love you? For who you are, for what you run from. Can you expose your soul, the parts of you that you find you deem unworthy? The parts you deem not traditionally masculine, if you will. The parts that reject, that you reject about yourself. Can you let her let, or them, him, whatever, can you let them love you? Can you let them love that layer of you? It is a piece of you, regardless of if you reject it, hate it. That's what it is. And this is, this is a battle. I don't know if you're defensive or if you feel like you're going to upset your feminine. There's a lot of concern about things blowing up. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, the sun in the reverse. There's anger here. I don't know if this is anger that this exists. Anger that you're unhappy, that like, um, you're saying it can't. I stay on the surface because there's nothing I can do about it. It can't be fixed. Why am I going to dig this up? I was having this conversation today. There's nothing I can do about it. Your love isn't going to fix it. It's not me anymore. Like, you're trying to... The masculine is trying to, like, distance themselves from this. But it's coming in as rejection of self. You keep telling this inner child, little masculine within you, yeah, that's, that's gross. That's unlovable. Mm -mm. No, we're not talking about that. I got you. I'll keep you safe. Go hide over there. And specifically, if this is, like, a male with trauma, like, you guys, that's hard enough to talk about. Like, when you go through it, like, I am a diehard feminist, okay? But I love my our men, too. And it is so incredibly hard for men to talk about this shit. It's hard enough for a human, but especially men. Okay. So there's something very deep, just like the feminines, I'm sure we'll see it in a second, to overcome, to work through, right? The feminine wound. There's that on the masculine side. It's happening just as deeply. It is being married to you, but it's the depths of this person, you know, of this masculine. So I'm curious, let's go back to the feminine side for a second. Zoom out, do my Scorpio thing. I just like to dissect souls. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Hermit. I like to dissect souls. The feminine likes to do that in general. The feminine's like, I already know. Mm hmm I see you. I am you. I already know. The feminine already knows. The masculine might be like trying to hide that they even have trauma. The feminine's like, I know you do. Yes. Yes, Jason. Yes. Good for you. You should be extremely proud of yourself. Virgo energy very strong with this magician, this hermit energy, you guys. So the feminine is talking about the pain of being alone. Having no choice. Like, because you won't deal with your pain, you have summoned me to be without you. Because you won't love the version of yourself. This is the perspective of the feminine. You won't let me love you. I have no control. I have no say. You've deemed this impossible for union. You've deemed it impossible to heal. Leo energy. And the feminine's pit. She's hurt, but she's pissed.
Can you show me more about what this this feminine keeps saying? I already know. I already know. I already know. She's saying I know the pain of little you. I know what you need. I know you don't feel safe. I know that pain. I know uh, there's something like we both didn't have it. There's a, there's a really similar, um, I don't know. It could look so freaking different, you know, but at the same time, there's this vibration of like, I see you. Hmm. I know what it's like to not feel safe. It kind of feels like the feminine's making an accusation, like, because you won't heal your shit, like, you're contagious. You, you know? Like, I'm infected. And again, she's, like, screaming, like, this isn't over. Like, this can't be over until you accept my love. Like, you can delay it all you want. You can reject me all you want. And yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. It doesn't change the fact that this is the truth. This is, this is the answer, is accepting love forgiveness, compassion, whatever, right? And this is her manifestation. So I actually would like to look into the masculine, what they want, what their intentions are, how they see the feminine, vice versa. And then we'll get advice. I think that's the best way to go about this reading. I'm kind of just winging this shit. Okay. There's hesitancy, but the masculine wants to. They want to. They want to. I see it. Will they? I don't know. They want to. First, let's get perspectives, feelings. Okay? So this is not soul. This is like 3D energy. What the masculine thinks he feels for this person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then we'll look at like what he feels in the soul. You know? But let's let's go perspective. What does he think? How does he view this feminine? Okay? Here on earth. Right? Nine of cups in the reverse. Okay. I don't want this. This isn't for me. Um, maybe they have to work with you. Some of you might have children with this person. You might actually work together with this person. They're saying they have to collaborate with you for some reason. Yeah. Like this is really heavy work energy. Collaboration energy. They also could feel like they are your friend and are working with you, but like they hate this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh God. <laughs> but they're there. They're showing up. They're putting in the effort. They're they're attending to the craft. You know? Some of you are coworkers. Ace of Wands in the reverse. I'm telling you, this masculine could be burnt out. It feels like they keep you at, like, arm's length. Okay. I don't know why I want to say calculated. Something feels calculated. So how do they feel for you in the soul? How does this masculine feel, well, for the feminine, whether it's you or what? How does this masculine feel for the feminine in the soul? Yeah, I, please, please love me. Yeah. <laughs> the fool. Can we, can we try again? This feels almost like, I don't know, rapport. All that underneath. All of that led to this. Can it sprout? You know what I mean? It looks like a beginning, but not really. Everything we've been through had a purpose. The heart wants it. There is something hugely karmic for the masculine to overcome, though, and I think it's their... Their belief system. Yeah, death. Exactly. It's an ego death, for sure. Can you be reborn? Your heart wants to be reborn, masculine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's bloom. It's like, look at that open flower. You want to blossom. You want to open. You want to make room for this. You want to have what you've never experienced before. Specifically, I'm getting that. I want what I've never had. I want what I've never been able to afford, you know?
I want what I've never known. Okay. Feminine. How do you feel about your masculine and your head? <laughs> oh. Malik. I'm a busy woman. I'm saving the world. Goodbye. Okay. When you guys watch it back, you'll get it. <laughs> you'll see my screen. All the shit popping up. I'm like, from the 1900s. I can barely see. <laughs> anyway. Feminine. Feminine, feminine, feminine. So this is a collective reading, but I'll be doing um, personal. If anyone wants a personal, I'll be doing it after. Okay. Feminine, what's your perspective? Like, how do you think you feel? What's your 3D version? Yeah, hey, man, you're like, I don't fucking know how this is going to go. Pisces energy. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Hopeful. You showed me that. The first thing you said was, I ain't over. Mm -hmm. It's very, it is giving very notebook. Like, it isn't over. It still isn't over. You'll see. It feels like, uh, you'll see. You're hoping for the best. You dream of this. Some of you are no contact, but you dream of this is what you're telling me. Like, I hope to hear from them. What about your heart and your soul? Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> There's the most beautiful organic connection here. Like past life, heavy, 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 heavy. Um, coming out with that is this energy. Where it's almost like the feminine doesn't recognize something about the masculine. Like you don't even realize how deep this is or how sacred or special. There's a piece of this, or maybe it's something you don't understand about the masculine. There's something you don't understand for alignment, for union. Show me. Some feminines could possibly be concerned, like thinking union is the answer. Um, two of cups, ace of pentacles. There's something about trusting this. This is the energy of the feminine being like, yeah, I let this go. Again, it's out of my hands, right? But like in my heart, very privately, you know what I mean? Behind closed doors. Like their energy signature is very much on my heart, on my soul still. Like that's what that is. And the feminine is saying, I don't know how to bring this to the 3D. I don't know what to do. I don't have the skills for this. I'm leaving it to God. Like I'm trusting, <laughs> I'm trusting spirit. I'm trusting that balance, healing. The feminine is acknowledging, I know healing is needed, but I don't know what that means or what that looks like. I don't know how to navigate that. Yeah, it's this feeling of, um, I know they exist in my heart and there's not much I can do about it. I think I just need to keep healing. Like that's the conclusion. I feel. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. It's so interesting. I noticed when I was reading from the masculine, my stomach growled. And then when I'm just now, my stomach growled on the feminine. It's like, you guys are hungry for each other. <laughs> you are. Don't you lie. You're here. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Intentions from the masculine towards the feminine. He be coming. I did channel White Feathers. This is a timeless reading, so whenever it finds you, right? But on this weekly that I just did, mm-hmm, I did. I, I'd be saying it. Eight of Swords. Wow. So the masculine wants to fly. He does. He feels caged. He has to realize that the cage is open. The masculine is going to come towards the feminine, but he's not capable of being like, yes, I would love to accept your love. It's like he shows up and he's just like, 
<laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is. There, uh, he's not saying it. it. He's showing up. He's not angry. He's not fighting. It's sweet. But it's just like... Like, I just want to be near you, energy. Again, he thinks there's nothing he can do, though, remember? Okay, feminine intention. Intentions towards your masculine feminines. What are the feminines gonna do? Those crazy femmes. The ones that would have been burned in the 1800s. Lobotomized in the 1900s. <laughs> Feminines, feminines. Three of Wands in the reverse. The Five of Swords. Oh gosh. So your intention is to stay confused. <laughs> I just, I really feel like the feminines feel like their hands are tied here. You're not counting on this. You're not really taking effort, but I'm telling you, it's, it's magnetic. Like you're always thinking about it. I feel it's like never not on your mind with that five of swords. Um, these, these are just your intentions. It's like, I'm still trying to understand it. Is there anything else I could have done? Is there anything else I can say? You know? Oh, how cute. Thank you. <laughs> Interesting. Intentions on the masculine. And intentions on the feminine are to literally free you from this. I will figure it out how to set you free, <laughs> says your feminine. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Judgment just fell out. Don't fuck with her. Leave her alone. She's a lady on a mission. <laughs> okay, let's get advice. Okay, let's get advice for the masculine and advice for the feminine. This is an interesting check-in. Is the feminine going to do it? That's the real question. Or the masculine going to do it? Well, I guess the feminine too. Will she break through? To be continued. Advice for the masculine. What's the best advice for the masculine? What is the best advice for the masculines, please? Spirits. Hey, don't be afraid to try something new. Just take your time. Slow on down. Yeah, work through it slowly. One thing at a time. You don't have to rush. You don't have to panic. Accept the help and take your time. Like it's not one of those like rip the bandaid off and get it over with. There's a real challenge here to allow yourself to consider life can be different. Love can be different. Even spiritual beliefs, like your spiritual beliefs. This could be even like um, signing up for a mentor. Advice on the masculine's end. It's really just slow down. Take your time. Don't try to change it. It feels like... Uh, don't do what you naturally want to do, which is try to fix it. Take charge. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of to, like, put your guard down here and just allow yourself to go through this process. Um, it's kind of like you admire your feminine so much. Use what she taught you. Okay, so whatever that means. Um, let's get some advice for the feminines. The Divine Feminine. What's all the advice? What deck do I want to use? We can use this one. Advice for the Divine Feminines, please, Spirit. Thanks for posting, girl. The, wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Let fate do its thing. Let destiny do its thing. Let the wheel spin. The High Priestess. Wow. You just continue to be a divine feminine. Listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition. It, it, uh, it kind of feels like to observe. Okay. I want to tell you to pay attention to the signs, the synchronicities. Listen to the hurt. Validate the hurt. 
There's that six of pentacles that we saw on the masculine side. The advice was for the masculine to receive this. Your advice is to also equal give and take. It's balance. And I'm telling you, this is small. It's not crazy. It's not you saving them. It's like, this could even just be sending them love. You know what I'm saying? Like releasing any anger, okay? This could be in silence, especially if this is no contact. It's to love them how you want to love them, whether they accept it or not. It doesn't change. That's the best advice I can give you. Okay? So, yeah, I hope this helps. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm going to turn my screen off and then I'll be back to TikTok, okay? Okay, bye YouTube.